Hi, today I want to make another deep dive into chains. We will talk about different types of chains and when to use which type of chain. We will learn that in the project-based approach. So first we will take a look at the different types of chains and the implementation. And then we create a YouTube summarizer, which takes a transcript from YouTube and provides the user a summary. All done with a GUI with TK Inter. As always, you will find the link to the code in the description. So first we start with the stuff chain. This is the most simple and most common chain. What it does? It takes a bunch of small documents and combines them into one big prompt. Then it gives that prompt to the LLM for an answer. So use the stuff chain when you have small documents and not too many of them. The stuff chain is a very cost efficient chain because you only make a single request to the LLM. The other chains are less cost efficient because you make multiple requests to the LLM. So the second chain we take a look at is the refined documents chain. It looks at each document one by one and with every new document it will update its answer. The use of a refined documents chain can make sense when you've got a lot of documents that don't fit all in one prompt. But it also got multiple drawbacks. It can be very slow because it keeps updating its answer. One problem is also that if the documents reference each other a lot, then the answer can be quite confusing. And of course, if you use an OpenAI model, it can be quite expensive. Okay, now let's have a look at the MapReduce documents chain. The MapReduce chain will take a look at each document individually and makes a node. So this is the map step. Then it combines all of these nodes to create a final answer. This is the reduce step. You can also introduce an extra step and that is the compression step. So if there are too many nodes, it can compress the nodes before combining them. So in simple words, it's like each document gets its own mini summary and then combining all these mini summaries for a final answer. The last chain is the map re-rank documents chain. For each document, it tries to get an answer for a question and gives a confidence score. Then it picks the answer with the highest confidence. Okay, that's are the different kinds of chains and in the project we will use a MapReduce chain to create a summary. Okay, I'm currently in PyCharm and as you can see we've got three Python files, the YouTube processor.py. This is responsible for creating all of the logic with the LLM chains. Then the GUI components.py, this is just a little TK inter GUI and then the main.py where we will uh, write the entry point for our service. We will start with the YouTube processor.py and there we first gonna import some classes. We import LLM chain, prompt template and chat OpenAI. I guess most of you already know these. These are responsible for creating normal LLM chains. And then we also import more rare chains. The stuff document chain, which comes from Langchain chains and then combined documents. So we use that to combine our documents and then we import the reduce document chain and also the map reduce document chain. We also import a text splitter and the loader will be the YouTube loader to load the transcript of a YouTube video. Okay, now we're gonna use from dot .env the load.env method. This will be responsible for setting our OpenAI API key. And then we're gonna create a new class. We call that class YouTube processor and first we're gonna set up a constructor. First we set up the LLM, which will be set up with chat OpenAI. We define a temperature of zero to make the model most deterministic. And then we create our first template. This is the map template. And in a map template, we want to set the following. We want that based on the list of documents, it should identify the main themes. So this is responsible for mapping our documents. And then we create a prompt template from that a map template and also an LLM chain, which will be our mapping chain. After the mapping step, we want to make the reduce step. We also define a template for this. And here we just say, take these and distill it into a final answer, consolidating summary of the main themes. So we pass in doc summaries which will be passed from the mapping step. And now we want to consolidate that. So we also create a prompt template from this and also create a new chain, which takes that reduce prompt. So we create two LLM chains, the mapping chain and the reducer chain. Okay, after that, we will use the stuff document chain. This is responsible for uh, combining the documents. So we will use this chain here, the reducer chain to actually combine the documents. 
Okay, now we can define the reduce document chain and we pass in two arguments here, the combine documents chain. So this is for combining the documents. This will be this chain and also the collapse document chain, which will be the same chain. And we want a max size of 4,000 tokens for this chain. Okay, from that we can create our final MapReduce chain and we call the MapReduce document chain constructor. We have to pass in the normal LLM chain, which is the map chain and also the reduced document chain. This will be the here defined reduced document chain and the input variables for that chain are docs, which is yeah from the, from the map template. We also set the return intermediate steps to false because we don't want the immediate results. We only want the final result from that chain. Okay, now we can implement the other logic. And first we want another method, which will be process the YouTube URL. So we are allowed to input inside the TK interbox uh, a URL. And we just want to check if YouTube is in the URL. And if not, we want to raise an error. Otherwise we want to process the URL and start a new thread because TK inter depends on threading. Inside that thread, we want to call the run processing method, which we have to define here. So this is the last and final method for this class. So we take in a URL, a chunk size, which will be defined by the user itself, and then a callback, which is just needed by TK inter. Inside this method, we will instantiate a recursive character text splitter with a chunk size of user defined chunk size and the chunk overlap of 20. So this will be the text splitter. And then we also have to define a loader. This will be the YouTube loader. This is predefined by Langchain. We just have to pass in a URL, which also comes from outside. So this will be also set in TK Inter. So we've got a splitter and a loader. So we load our documents. So now we've got a single document and we want to split that into multiple documents. So now we've got multiple documents, smaller documents, depending here on the input variable. So let's say we've got a chunk size of 200, then we've got documents with a chunk size of 200 each. And these documents we want to pass now to the MapReduce chain. So we will pass the split documents to this method, to the run method of uh, this chain. Okay, let's say we've got 50 documents, then we will make 50 LLM calls in the mapping step and the result will be passed to the final reducer step of that chain. So we'll get a single result at the end. Okay, and then at the end, we pass that to the callback because this is needed for TK inter. Otherwise in the normal function, we could just return it from run processing. Like I said, again, in TK inter, that's not possible. So we want to display the result on the screen. We do it with the callback. Okay, that's the UTIP processor. We will now take a look at the GUI components.py, but only a very high level look because this is not about TK inter, but about Langchain. Okay, in the GUI components.py, we will first import TK inter SDK. We define a class by ourselves called app GUI. And here in the constructor, we will pass a processor from outside. So when we instantiate that class, we will pass it. And inside here, we will just instantiate a new TK inter class. So we instantiate a TK class, set a title, and then run a build GUI function, which will set up the complete app. So just a very high level M overview. We set a label, we set an entry where we can type something, and then we set a button where we can uh, run a callback function called process YouTube URL. This will be defined here. We want to get the value of that input and then just process it. So here you can see this will access the processor, which we set in the constructor and call the process URL method. And this is the method we set here in the YouTube processor.py. And then we also set a finishing function because we want to set this value when we make our LLM call, because we want to give the user an indication that there's actually something going on and that the app is not just frozen. So at the end, we will just call a final uh, method and we will run the entry point of TK enter, which is main loop. We just call that and then the user interface will be shown on the screen. Okay, now comes the easiest part in the main.py. We just want to import the UTIP processor and also the app GUI class. And then we instantiate 
everything in the main function. So we instantiate the YouTube processor and we pass that instance of the YouTube processor to the app GUI here as argument and then just run app.run, which will set up the main loop of tkinter. So then we just call that function. And now we can just type python main.py to run our application. So this will now start a GUI with tkinter. And here we can enter our YouTube URL and set the chunk size of our documents. So I copied the link of my Langchain in three minutes video. We set a chunk, chunk size of 500 because I don't want to make so many calls to OpenAI and then just click on process. So now we can see it's processing. And because we make multiple LLM calls, this may take a few seconds, I think about 20 to 30 seconds. And at the end, we will get a summary of that YouTube video. Okay, that's the output of our MapReduce chain. I will not read through this document again, but as you can see, this works. And with this kind of approach, we can just take a lot of information and iterate over it step by step and get a final answer. So MapReduce chains are very helpful if you want to summarize long texts. Okay, if you've got questions, let me know in the comments. And if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.